Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in a city, and now I live in the Midwest on a farm, and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Hey y'all, oh my goodness, we have just had Vacation Bible School last week. It was the best. The theme was stellar, Shine Jesus Light, and the curriculum was fantastic. It was theologically sound and easy for the kids to understand and easy for us to teach. I'm so excited I got to teach my third graders. I was really praying and having friends pray and family pray that I'd be able to teach VBS this week. And I was so thankful. And y'all, my co-Sierra was awesome. She was fantastic and an answer to prayer because at the last minute I had to get a new co and no worries. People have busy lives. I understand. No pressure. I like to think of myself as the no pressure friend. <laughs> we should all be no pressure friends, right? So Sierra agreed to teach VBS with me and she was the best sport ever. I mean, I brought her a neon pink wig and she wore it without question. <laughs> <laughs> Neon day, y'all. And for Western day, she even let me borrow a belt buckle that she won as a trophy for roping horses or being the fastest or something. And I thought, oh my goodness, I am wearing the trophy that she won. I mean, she's a giver. Let's just say she's generous and awesome. And I'm so thankful for her. She said, from now on, we're going to teach VBS together. <laughs> and I'm gonna hold her to it. And those third graders, they were fantastic. And I kind of miss them. Although I'll see some of them in church on Sundays. Today we're gonna to make such a fun, yummy treat. And I'm super excited about it. And I think y'all will love it. And it's not hard and it's gonna be great. Today we're gonna to make chocolate eclair bars. Let me show you what you'll need. Puff pastry, pudding, heavy cream, milk, vanilla, powdered sugar, butter, and cocoa powder. Hey y'all, I'm so excited about making these chocolate eclair bars. Do y'all love chocolate eclairs? I love chocolate eclairs and this is so easy because it's one big thing, you do it one time, you cut it into bars, easy cheesy. Also y'all, I made my own puff pastry. I am so proud of myself. I've never done puff pastry before. I always store by it, but I didn't have any on hand and I wanted to just see if I could make it. And so I did. I did this yesterday. It's just that in the evenings, I kind of get a hankering to bake. <laughs> so last night I thought, I'm just going to try this puff pastry. And if it doesn't work out, no big deal. And it was pretty easy. So I think we might need to make some puff pastry on a show just to take the mystery out of it. And so y'all can try it at home too. Anyway, puff pastry, you can buy it at the store or make it at home and you put three fourths of it on the bottom of a nine by 13 pan. And then I took a fourth of that dough and I cut out kind of a rectangle that matched the bottom of my nine by 13 pan and I put it on here. And y'all, this <laughs> baking sheet has been loved. This baking sheet was one of the ones, one of the air bakes that Rick and I registered for when we got married. This is baked and it's gonna be the top of our chocolate eclair bars. So I'm gonna put it aside. I'm also going to put this aside, but I wanted to show y'all how cool it was. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> Next, we're gonna get our Hudson and Henning bowl, my precious nephews, and we're gonna make some pudding in there with two boxes of French vanilla pudding. And you just make it according to the box directions with your two cups milk, or in this case, four cups milk. I actually had this on hand in my pantry. I was so excited. I don't know what I was gonna make with the French vanilla pudding. It was like a treasure that I found. <laughs> that powder. <laughs> now box number two. Oh, it's a party already. We're gonna set this in the fridge while we do our next step. Now we're going to whip two cups of heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna use the cutest little bowl I got from Savannah and Miles. Oh, and that fun copper. Your weakness is copper? <laughs> That's from the movie Megamind. It is an Ep family favorite. <laughs> we quote it quite often. <laughs> Two cups. Now to whip. Again, start on low. I remember growing up, we didn't have vacation Bible school, but we had Backyard Bible Club. That was in Fort Smith, Arkansas. We had a lot of great memories there. I think I've told y'all before, we lived in a circle of houses and the middle of the circle was just grass and so all the kids could play. It's really neat. We could have football games out there, wiffle ball games, parades, just playing, hanging out, riding go-karts. Then we moved to Little Rock and it was also great. Okay y'all, now it's time to add powdered sugar to this. You add one cup, but my cup of kitty cat cups that Shani gave me, 
is broken. So if a cup is breakable, I will break it because I use it and I, you know, I believe in using things. Y'all know this, but I'm just going to put two in here because it's so fun to use the half cup. I'm thinking of sweet Shani today because she is taking two of her grandchildren to the Turks and Caicos. And that's so fun. Their parents are going to be in Amsterdam at a prayer conference, I think. And so they're taking two grandbabies to the Turks and Caicos. I thought, I want to do that someday. Shani and her grandmother name is Honey. And of course, Phil is Bear. Honey and Bear are grandparent goals, people. This is looking so good. Now we need to add some Jones vanilla. Oh, it smells so good. All right, here we go. Here's a teaspoon. You know, give or take. This smells so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. Now we're going to fold our whipping cream mixture into our vanilla pudding. And y'all, I can't fold anything into anything without thinking of my sweet granny. <laughs> She's in heaven. And she taught me how to make her special angel food cake and to fold in the flour. It was all in the wrist and I don't know if I ever mastered it, but it reminds me of my sweet granny. I always get impatient when I'm folding and I wanna stir it. <laughs> Anybody else? Now I'm just gonna get this and put it in the bottom of my puff pastry. Here we go, oh my goodness. It's kind of an odd rectangle, but it's so pretty and artisan, y'all. Once you get that cream in there, get your top layer of puff pastry. I think you're supposed to trim this to make it match, but why would you waste all that goodness? So I'm just gonna leave it like this and lay it on top. <laughs> Voila. Now I'm gonna put this in the fridge while we make our icing. Y'all, I had so much fun with this copper bowl that I washed it up and we're gonna use it for our icing. We're gonna start off with our two and a half cups of powdered sugar. These are cups that sweet Lillian gave me, y'all, and this is a little egg. And let me show you the chick. <laughs> this is a little chick, so cute. <laughs> Which came first? <laughs> the chicken, God created the chicken. <laughs> Second cup and a half. So cute. Then one fourth cup of cocoa powder. And y'all, my sweet sister Hadu gave me these. And when I was bringing them back from Little Rock, a few of them broke, but the fourth cup still is alive and kicking. So here it is. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> then a stick of butter. And y'all, I always use hot butter, melted butter with cocoa, because it kind of makes the icing fudgy. We're gonna mix this a little bit, and then I'm gonna add my milk. And I'm adding my milk, of course, from Juliana Blythe's tea set. So fun. Ooh, I was telling my sweet sister Hattie I was making this and she said, oh, that's my favorite kind of donut. I said, when I go to Little Rock, I'll make you this. I've had to postpone a few trips this spring and summer. <laughs> that's okay. Waiting on the Lord makes us stronger. And then lastly, we're gonna put this on the top. Then you just spread it around. Except for leave a little bit of an edge because it's pretty. Y'all, thanks so much for being with me today and making some chocolate eclair bars. Have a great week. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time.